The end of everything. Oh, things are getting serious. Two of cult is real, two of cult is evil. Nice. Nice. Yep. Dude, you are the way better at this than I am. I'm not that good at, like, anything. I still play a lot. Got lots of old games at home. Collect them. Huh, I've never been over to your place. I don't take anyone there. Secret? I live in a tree. I'd believe that. Okay, well... Oh god, something happened to May? So is she dead? No idea. No response from her parents. That's bad. It's not great. Jeez. I don't see the dude. He was outside my building last night. Late. Any idea who these people are? I have zero clue. I can't come up with any explanation that aren't nuts. Getting dark earlier. So something happened to May. I used to skate. I wasn't super good at it. I, c I can skate. I'm a skater. Skate to create. I do what I like. I could use like five naps. Five good naps in one nap bucket. Jump in! Oh, this ain't good. Oh, nothing. Even though the icon came up. Okay, so, got brownies, got sodas. Hey, Captain. Hey, Bug. You making, like, three dinners at once? Brownies are in the oven. Thinking about making that lasagna we got and forgot about. Are brownies and lasagna a good combo? We haven't been shopping in a week. Hey, hon. You should maybe go to sleep or something. You've barely sat down in the past 24 hours. Good, di good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's got to take care of you. Dude, let me take care of you. This, the stuff I'm doing, this helps me. Okay, that's cool. We're gonna make this, we're gonna make it through this. We're gonna make it through this. Love you. Love you. What if what really happened to Casey was the cult? Oh, fuck. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Wait, everybody shut up. Somebody's coming. They're moving around. Just like they did at May's house. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Crap. Then it turns out to be May? Oh, fuck. What is this? May, are you alright? She must have ran off a cliff or something. That or this is the afterlife. Maybe that's why Aunt Mall Cop wanted May to go home early and with people so that she didn't see anything. Just because Aunt Mall Cop might be part of the secret society. Then again, it would make more sense for one of her... Excuse me. One of her parents to be a part of it because Granddad's tooth. Ah, uh, this ain't good. Ah, uh, this ain't good. People are getting to Greg's and Angus's apartment. Okay, this is the the house street, but there are no houses. Okay. Did her arm come off? Or, did, or is she cradling her arm? Oh, God. I don't like... 
Nope, there's her arm. And now she's lying down. This ain't good. I'm very worried. But that was weird. We played as Greg for a bit, and then that moment was happening. Hospital? Church. God is here. In this room. I believe that. Times like this we can call out and know that our cries are heard. While we're here, maybe someone should, like, say something about May. That'd be nice. May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars. And, and she loved to hear about them. She... I'm sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as the kid down the street. Oh, no, that's... Don't open your mouth, alligator man, if you're not going to speak. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through in the... Uh, I've been through it in the past couple of years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And... I just think it's not fair that May, of all people, should have trouble. Where there's... Where's the god in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Broski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her mom once. Hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to us all on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night. Down at the Cinerave. And someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. And May fell and... She must have fallen off a million things a million... Fall off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way and... Oh, well. I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... What the hell? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah. Supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. Weirdo janitor, man. The house is gone. May. Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey? Everything. Things are getting weird. I don't like it. Like, I like it, but I don't like it. Get me? What the hell? Uh. What happened to Greg? What happened to everyone? Things are not all right. Okay, can't go by the tree. Things are not all right. At all. At all, at all, at all. My friend said, oh, she was shot by a hunter, so is she going insane? Is this all in her head? Oh. Crap. Greg? Holy crap, May? It's me! Holy shit, dude! I thought you were gonna be dead! Not yet. You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. 
I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Weird things are going on. Her mom says said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just, like, wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way up here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I sure hope she's all right. Mm -hmm. Both of you, shh. So how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway, now since possibilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, Bea. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. All right, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him! It's the pizza guy! Pizza's here! Poisoned? So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just like a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. I had this dream, like a vision, where I time traveled, I don't know, I'm like in, a, in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Ugh. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here. Bea's there? Bea's here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have Bea drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat anything right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd like to puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. Ugh. So, that was a weird vision thingy. Dude, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I guess so. Not really. I was, like, really worried. You were correct. To worry. It was bad. Yeah. Don't ever get seriously injured again, okay? What even was that game? Werewolf Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I played this as... Played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it. Yesterday. At home. Cool. If I hung out with him, he, that would probably actually mean something. Is there a signal here? Wi-Fi. Ah, uh, okay. I got like a mental map of all the Wi-Fi spots in town. What is if Possum Springs and no signal? Eh, out here in the hills. And we're not big enough to get towers. Or something. Uh-huh. Hey. Yeah? If we're all still alive or whatever... We should, like, maybe hang out more. I kind of thought you found me really annoying. Eh. I'll take eh. <laughs> Can we all hit the sack? Sure, dude. Hey! Everyone go to bed now! Holy crap. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. You weirdos are following me around. Oh, right. See ya. Bye, Germ. Hey. Hey, Greg. You awake? Yeah. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Back then you said you went all crazy. But 
like, that's not really a reason, I guess. I was playing that game where you, like, dated ghosts. I remember that one. Had a hot skeleton. Alistair or something like that. <laughs> yeah. You were crushing hard on those dank bones. I was playing it, like, 24-7. This one afternoon, it sounded like something broke. It was, like, pixels. Your computer broke? No, like, reality broke. The characters on screen, like, I felt like I knew them. But they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never ever would exist, either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost all these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me. Alone. And like that realization, like, dumped out of the screen and into reality. Went outside and the tree out front. I looked at everything I'd look at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it's just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by and he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Dude, why didn't you tell me? I don't know. What could I have said? This all happened like the day before that softball game. I mean, I was there in the stands. I watched you do it. I was so scared for you. When Andy stepped up, it was like... And he was just shapes, too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. I was so scared and angry and just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. There wasn't that much blood. Oh god, I made him bleed all over the place, Greg. I wonder if he, like, wondered why. What he'd done. He is probably an asshole. No, dude. I didn't know him. Neither did you. Well, then, you had to go to therapy. Yeah, Dr. Hank and his journaling. Dr. Hank's messed up one of my tooth fillings. Yeah, he's not good at what he does. Which I guess is understandable, because he does, like, everything. I meant to ask you, did that journal shit, did it actually work? Kinda, sorta. It helps me, like, grab onto things and keep them in one place. Well, but since that whole thing happened back then, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes, like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. College is for losers. Dude, listen, okay? Sorry, dude. I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And it was the statue of the, like, founder or something. A really shitty statue, like all rusty metal. And it was all these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. I was just so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dude. And finally I got up the courage to leave. I came home where everything was fine, where I knew everyone. It was, wasn't was just dead shapes watching me. Jeez, dude. Something broke in my head, in my life. Dude, you should have called me. We could have come and rescued you. Would have, like, kidnapped you. I, like, couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't even know why. I didn't even come home for the longest night. I just stayed in my room. In bed. That's... That's horrible, dude. I... I thought I... When I came home, I just... I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this. And... 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 Dude, dude. Shh. You're gonna be okay. I'm so scared, Greg. I know, dude. We're all freaked out right now. You need to sleep. I'll be here all night. I... Hey, no! No. Bye, guys. No! Love you, no! What are you doing, you idiot? The hole in the center of everything. Heavy dump of exposition. Heavy, 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 heavy. What are you doing? You injured asshole! You're going back to the tooth cult? 
Why? Like, I don't even know what's real anymore. Just like you, you, okay, you were running from the people. You heard the shot. Fuck you, asshole. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Theory, talk! Fine, let's do this. Ow. Nice shot. I wasn't aiming for his shoulder. Ah, you effing shot me! Hey, asshole, get away from her. Three of us, one of you. And none of us got bolts sticking out of us. I'm gonna f you, f you! Yeesh. Ah, you okay, dude? What are... Hey, jerk. Why the hell are you out here by yourself? Oh yeah, dude, all your fault. You definitely made these dudes creep around, following us and like kidnapping someone, maybe. Yeah, you did it with your heavy mind control powers. Dude, come off it! He... it's in my dreams. Dude. Dude. You don't get to do this, okay? I don't get everything that's going on with you. And I'm not saying it's not happening. I believe you, okay? I do. But you don't get to die on me. You are not gonna do that to me, okay? Okay. We've been best friends since forever, you big dumb idiot. And even if this was somehow all in your head, which it isn't, I would still back you. To the actual God's honest end. Jeez, me too. Clearly, clearly, we all would be. I shot a dude for you, come on. If we keep talking like this, I'm gonna cry and... Greg? <laughs> Thank you. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something. Can we... Can you walk me? I... I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go die or something, but hopefully not. Gates open. Ah, oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it or shut something. Ah, dang. You're right. No. Well, then... Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang, bang. It's getting intense. Load. The only light? Jeez, spooky. I don't think we get to complain about spooky. We left our precious robot boy out in the woods. That's spooky. Nah, dude, we created a legend. What are you two even talking about? It's been a weird few days. I wonder what- I'm guessing this is because I hung out with Greg the most days, and that's why he's the most like, I shall protect me. What would have happened if I hung out with Bea, Bea the most? What is going to happen? Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. We sure you wanna do this? Yeah, May. You sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <laughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I... I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Alright then, down we go together. That thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Generators even. Are you our tour guide now? Oh, this is gonna get intense. We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop, and I got bored. This is in the brochure. Mmm. Well, here we are. 
May, you okay? I have my inhaler. No. I'm fine. It's just like... It's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something. Down there. You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. You should be quiet. Yeah. I'll be silent terrors. We'll be ghosts. What is this all gonna be? What is the mystery? What is the truth? Why do all, they all look the same? Stupid cult. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. What's the truth? What is... If it's the fucking cult that were the little creatures going up to the dude and saying, Hey, are you a god? I'm going to be ever so slightly pissed. Ah, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like junk. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh, God. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. Casey didn't jump the railroad. He got taken by these dudes for their crazy minor cult. At this point, I would drop the element of surprise and have a flashlight ready. I can't see anything. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself! Yeah, asshole, we're like five times scarier than you. There they are. They're right here. I'm gonna kill them. I'd, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing. It was a bad call. I'm sorry. It's okay. It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, but who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest. To protect their own and their neighbors. Th then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town, by family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors! Okay. We could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason, and he's not going to let you leave until he has his head, his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's going to be having so much saying in whatever. Wait, so you think that I'd... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've felt it. It was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. Twenty years back or so, after the West Mine closed out past Brittle, Vest Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole. Copper. Abandoned. Shoot. Long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from the West Mine come back here to try bootlegging, practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared, never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper, till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place, and Jim walks right into that hole, and never hits bottom. 
Ed calls down to Jim. Jim didn't answer, but someone else does. I know you heard that voice go. In dreams and in waking times. Swat brought you down here. So what does this have to do with you or me or anyone? You got to understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants, while we worked ourselves to death. Ah, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church, but when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh god, I think I know. Yeah, he's already in there singing to you, right? I... Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Ones it takes a shine into. It rubs off on you. You can do things. I've never seen it. But they had said Ed would walk through walls. Okay, after Ed talked us into all this... After that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger, and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked. First one was Tom Turner, who believed you, me, who believed you, me, was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. He throw them in the hole. They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing, and it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh, God. Oh, no. Casey? The Hotley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad was a rap sheet a mile long. And for whatever sad, it, sad end he'd wound up at, we did him a favor. You killed Casey? Oh, my God. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to swear hazmat they had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg, he was my friend! All right, now throw down or I shoot you. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking out of your eye. Bang! Bang! You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the night woods at night. Basic safety. I Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. Old Mills puff and smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stuck in shelves at a grocery store. Kids living more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying. Houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster? A job become burned out brick box or in a hole in the ground? But we can change that. We can put this place back together. Where it won't be just shapes. I'm going to die down here. No, you don't, game. You don't get to do this. You don't get to do this. Why are you telling me all this? 
because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Because if no one fa no one's here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember that buzzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back, the ne kids never come back, everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who you, we are. Out there. But we know who all you are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably get permanent damage. Shut it, Ide. You don't know a thing about what he wa- What he wants. What he is. Ide, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But in the truth, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. My brain's in pieces right now. It's all just empty. Everything is empty. What are we gonna do? We'll crack that one when we're far away from here. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. All the old stuff in here. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down here for a sec, okay? Okay. Jesus fucking Christ! So, Casey. Yeah. I. Yeah. For what? I think I get it. Wow, really? I'm too tired to explain it right, but, like, they lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which is what had happened a long time ago. Or how they remember, or like picture it, and things it gave them. So Casey and that kid at Heartfest, and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I could make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep. Sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... Whoa! Help me! What the... Die. Off. Off, you bastard. Off, you bastard. Off, eyed. Off, eyed. Die, die. Take that. Now they're all trapped down there. Ah, fuck what's... Holy God. Is everyone okay? May. May. May I say something? <laughs> Why are we laughing? <laughs> Dude, it's okay now. We messed that guy up and he's not coming back. You're gonna walk out of this. So how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, let May rest. Don't end like this. I feel her coming out from here, so we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How did you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Duh. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. <coughs> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Guys, the air's coming back from here. All right, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up. A long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. The... The dead dude. 
the dead dude who died but was still in his body could walk through walls. That dude, he had a successor. We're getting out of here. We ain't dying. Screw your cult. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. And water, and water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. River Cave rivers can be death traps. Mine river, we're in a mine. Right. So, um, maybe the cult people are... Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're going to die in the one foot of water. Right. Bull. Screw you, god thingy. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but... You know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry. It got me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I run home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. I feel like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long, hiding, or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. Until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. My friends leave when I have to let them go. When this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt because that means it meant something. It means I'm something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May! Dude, you okay? Whoa. You all got sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just... Very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over there. Did you smell that? I bet he did. Not going back in. Screw you, godly thing. Screw you. You eat people. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. Brochure. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I... I can try to make out. No, I can, like... Okay. Yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, like, all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? Like... You know, like, when your body is like a, whoa, I almost died, and you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, okay. There, thank you, those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Uh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. All right. Ah, there's, I thought I was standing on Angus's head. I'm getting out of here, I'm gonna get my friends out of here, because screw your stupid cult, screw your stupid little save the town cult. I am living. And everyone's going to live. Except for that one guy that I killed, but he's an asshole. Pet. This place, huh. Hey, May. Kerm? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. 
We were all stuck down there. You were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> Silly germ. Hey, May. Yeah? Was that germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <gasps> my entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Uh, oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean... Not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ's good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. No, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of us attacked them. Or one of them attacked us. So we're worrying about like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. <laughs> uh, what? They like killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they go all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like the trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Angus is good. I am on with Angus with this one. Hey guys, uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell happened. Easier for me to get it all out here, and I need to talk. If you jerks, you're off doing whatever. Epilogue? That was right. I don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control of the world than you do. I just walked into all this horrible stuff that was already happening. We all did. I guess that's really scary. Like, who knows what's gonna happen? I guess you can, like, connect things. Or connect to things. Sometimes you need someone to be the thing you don't have. Even if it's something you're all supposed to already have. All you are, what all of you have... All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Lol. Am I ever going to have a handle on what just happened? I kind of hope not. I just hope it's over. I want us all to get free of it. I don't want us to just be some part of some horrible story. I want to, like, grow giant and pick you all up and carry you someplace safe. Sorry I'm all rambling now. I just gotta believe there's ways to escape. Or at least move on. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you are at. I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever. I don't know if any better friend exists. We're like old shoes, they go together. I'm sorry I caused drama between you and Angus, man. Angus, I give you Greg as a gift. Remember to water and feed him. <laughs> if you ever hurt him, I will kick your ass into the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. Now nah, I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh shit. Haha, <laughs> guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what that I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. Rock Sandman killed some dudes. I mean, Ide was an asshole. He, he, he's the real villain in all of this. He probably came to people and was like, Hey, join my cult of murder. 
Changing of seasons. Three word tins. Hey, May. You okay this morning? We're not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we were doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really? You massive dark lol. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. It's good to be alive this morning. That is all. Goodbye, Casey. Epilogue. Stars. This game has been great. I love this game. I love it. God. It's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what the feeling is. I'm not gonna cry today. We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. <laughs> I should, like, pre-read some of these. I mean, I got time. And the cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Okay, let's go with that one. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937. Shapes from beyond the veil of space is a towering achievement and marks the start of weird gothic genre and influence on much of the 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. Hey, Granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. Like, when we were actually back there in the forest at first, it's like... Because Granddad had a tooth. He was a part of the Miner's Tooth Cult. And I'm assuming that that's what those people were. But there's still so many other things, like... The gases, the hallucinations... That were in the newspaper things. Like, all the ghosts, like, there's so many questions left. But at the same time, I... May, honey, is that you? Yeah? I'm back in the kitchen, if you want to talk. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why? It's been... I just... You're an adult. You can do whatever you want. But you do live here. And you're still my baby. Ah, oh, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because... Honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... So sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. Hun, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but what happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. Sure. We can make some breakfast for dinner like we used to. I can flip the pancakes in the air! <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night's decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall? Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. Are you still reading the same book? Oh no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Want to hear one? Sure. Far, f far from here the ocean's roaring. Far away across the den. I hear the Lord a-calling the children. Bring in, bring in, bring in. I'll see you walking through the barley. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord a-call the children. Bring em in, bring em in. Tarry with me for a moment. Talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring him in. Bring him in. That's nice. It is. It is nice. I personally think it sounds like bringing people to the hole. I don't like the hole. Oh. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. 
Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Ah, uh, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. This place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. All supposed to respect you. Work is supposed to be able to talk. Work is supposed to be able to live a life. Work is supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies, enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house, try to at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say to then get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while. But here, I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. How'd you get it? Out? Get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? Do you know what the, this tooth is? No, really? You sure? Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. May. Thank you. Oh, looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. May. Sorry. I'll just keep it with me, May. Sure thing. May. Yeah? You come down and pick it with us if we walk out. I'll breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. What are you gonna do out here, by the way? Getting an early start on our longest night lights plans. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help you put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. Dad. Dum de dum dum dum. There's definitely a lot of things I need to do when I replay this game. Because I'm going to replay this game. It is really stinking good. Hey, May. Sup, Summers. You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all... I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Alright. Well, if I ever have a headache, or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. Just, I'm just soaking in everything that's happened. All this. It started out all simple like. Then it got complicated. Guess that's life, right? Never did find that other uh, pentagram. I need to find that other pentagram. I should start doing my own laundry. Sometime. <laughs> Yeah, really need to get that final whirly dirly. Need to find the last pentagram. Hey, May. Hey, Mr. Chesikov. Got any more dusk stars we can look at? One more. In the middle? The middle. Found it! Let us consult the guide. The fire maker. The fire maker? A wanderer in the cold and dark, making a fire and huddling up to it for light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Hmm. The star makes me want to cry. Crying? On my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It's okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all? Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them. And we just found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars or name them. But we had these autumn afternoons and found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad some said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened because hearing it happen to you. That is nice. It's not bad. It's nice. Dusk Stargazer. 
So what now? Super moon is coming. What's that? A giant moon! Ooh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It will be a late night. There will be others on their roofs. You come, I'll make the hot chocolate. What a time! That sounds great! I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chazakov. See you soon, Stargazer. <sighs> Just so good. Just like doing things, seeing people, doing things. Really wish I knew that the hangout with the side characters wasn't a actual like hangout side characters thing. It was just like a in the day. <sighs> Goodbye, Casey. Rat bastards. Time for just memories. When winter come and winter freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin, it's a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. Screw you, pierogi man. <coughs> ah. Hey, you guys. Yeah? Stay safe, all right. Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man. It goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. I wish those two playing the music would shut the F up. <laughs> hey! Watch it. <laughs> the music's good. So there were only two music people, even though there were multiple music people in the dream. I still don't understand the dreams. That is the one thing I'll have to give this game credit for. Like, one of the many things. It doesn't hold your hand all that much. Like, the story. The story is, like, freaking weird. Real freaking weird. We don't know what happened to Bruce. We don't even know who those people are. Like, maybe if we walk around and we don't see people... Maybe? Because, I mean, the uh, town council people, they're... Ah, it's about historic, it's a historical thing. Now, those are the type of people that are probably a part of it. He'll look a lot friendlier when he, he's covered in snow. <laughs> but he'll just melt it. He breathes fire. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the council people were probably a part of that cult. They seem like the, the types to be it. Hey. Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. Well, did the council vote go? We lost. I lost. It's just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this empty space. Could use it for so many things, but... You tried. All we can do. And God will show up when the time is right. Bruce is my friend. Mine, too. Bruce is my friend, too. You need some help clean up this place? That'd be nice, May. There's a rake back at the shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... <laughs> Run along, May. I guess they're here if you get all the pentagrams. Which I don't know. Maybe the final pentagram was in the Go Out to Hunt Ghosts with Greg segment. Because I mean... That very well could be the thing because you open up the whirly durlies and they send them out to the campsite. That's a thing that happened. So why wouldn't there be other things that are in the overworld that affect the individual missions? Just go in, see if there are people around. But again, who the hell the motherfucker was that? It was the janitor. He's there when we first come in. And then... He was there when we were dying, or something. Still don't know what was going off that. We were in the church, then we were in the hospital, then we were home, and then we were gone. But they said, oh, their friends said that it was just hunting season. Why wouldn't they just tell people? It was like, hey, there's crazies. They shot at May. But now those people are all dead. Because they were crazy cultists. Because they're like, I don't buy that stuff. I mean, yeah, we talked to a thing in the water. But 
slight spoiler for Lost Constellation. I'm, it'll, I'll be walking anyway, so I'll put up a time to skip if you want to. But basically, in Lost Constellation, Adina Astra stinking stood up to the god creature. It was just a giant owl, maybe like an owl bear, and it was just like, people call me god, so I must be god. And then we have uh, a demon who's just like, oh, shab it. You're not a god. You're just a big animal. So, yeah, that's probably what the water thing was. But I kind of like that about this game. It leaves it open to interpretation. What was everything? What is in What's going to happen to all this? I guess it's just going to sit here. So someone gets around and throwing it all out? I should, like, steal the good stuff. See what mom and dad think. I'm sure they'll love it. Redecorate the living room. And then there's this door. And the problem is this game isn't, like, big enough yet to the point where you can look up, like, what is with the door in the uh, Wallard room? Like, to think it began so simply. Like, yeah, sure, I, there were weird dreams. There was other things. Also, I'm just gonna say it. The Kickstarter said, gain weird powers. It's like, that's bullshit. You didn't gain any powers. Though that's probably because of over the years of making the game, they probably decided to scrap the power part. Even though I personally would have loved it. In my opinion. I would have liked it just to go like, using the god powers against the god thing. But at the same time, that might have taken away from the message of, it might be supernatural, it might not be. Hey, you okay? Hey. I heard you were, like, in the hospital or something. <laughs> yeah. What for? Fell into a ravine while running through the woods at night. Why? Um, chased by a deaf cold of conservative uncles. Alright, you don't have to tell me. So, you're really okay? Yeah, just been a weird few days. Okay, I got worried. Uh, I'm super tough. Nothing's gonna get me anytime soon. Oh, good. That's good. <laughs> That's a new one. It says it's open. Hey, it's you. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix-its, whatever needs to be done. Oh, okay. So what's been like being home again? Things like you remember them? Kinda. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How do you do it? How do you know? Called experience. I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen. And I feel like I should have woken up today. And like, have learned something. But I didn't know if I learned anything really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything. They make you something. And, some th and sometimes, you gotta wait a while and see what comes of it. Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Ha <laughs> 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 That guy's weird. Wait, how do you know my name? Janitor. Mr. Janitor. Lord Janitor. Bob Janitor. I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. Did miss some things in the journal. Kind of sad. But see, you, you drew things I didn't even know about. Maybe the journal did help. Well, maybe I should keep a journal. Probably should. Oh, taco? There's a taco store? Eh, nobody's here. There's a taco store. See, stupid crazies, ta things are coming in. Holy crap! Uh, ah! A taco place! This is the best thing that's happened to this town since they got rid of all the snakes in the diner. We got internet. We were still using Cyberfish until like two years ago. Because it's etern <laughs> eternally two decades behind here. It takes you three days to turn to movie. Takes you one day to load a gif. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? 
Oh my god, they deliver! <laughs> I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. <laughs> so, you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan, but I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There is snow in the sky, falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's Earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news. My ex hates tacos. Good news. They're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco Buck. Dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all this general region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try out the all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid. I'm working. <laughs> the one guy. It's missing. What do you guys say? Who are you? Haven't you seen me around? Nah. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. It's a bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stand here. Hey, you smelters fan? Um, yeah. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Go smelters. Go smelters. Go smelters. <laughs> Wonder what happened to his friend. He was probably part of the cult. The crazy cult of crazy cult people. Which is weird. You'd think that the guy who was kind of more distant and kind of an asshole would have been the one that... Uh, the one that's standing there currently, you thought he would have been the one that was a part of the cult, but... Oh yeah, can't get up there. <laughs> I was gonna go to the... little place. Could never go to the Tic Tac. And you know what, I'm probably gonna run back to the... bridge as well. Cause, uh... Oh, I can go inside. Gonna head to the basketball court. A little sad, though. Cause, yeah, like, it's all in the little things. Like, the legend about the dude that could walk through walls. Like, I mean, we saw some of that. My babies! My little rat babies! Well, not so little anymore. You've made it! You've broken free! It's a miracle. I'm just gonna enjoy this moment for a bit. Don't mind me. That's funny. Never did see the, uh, I already forget his name, but this guy that was giving us the head when we were, uh, giving us the head, giving us the robot head when we were, uh, with Greg on a nice little adventure. And yeah, you know what, I'm gonna go head to the bridge quickly. Why? Because, well, you never know, things are changing. But you know what I think? When I think about those cult guys, what they thought of everything, I think they're partially... well, they're assholes. They figured they could force good things to happen to them by killing people. They figured they could throw people into a pit and then their city, their town, everything would go boom and happiness would ensue. That's not life. In life, you gotta work for it. In life, you gotta go push people. Like, things would probably look a whole lot much better if I actually hung out with Gurm and Lori, but I didn't because I'm an asshole too. But not as much as those dudes back in the mine. Those guys are premium assholes. Could not get them from pizza possibilities. But, yeah, like, with life, in life, you... 
can't force things. You can't just sacrifice people to an immortal god. You can't wish upon a star. You have to go out there and do it. You actually have to go out there, take Shia LaBeouf's advice, and just do it. Wonder if we'll ever be a big booming town again. Those guys last night were, like, deluded. But it'd be really nice if there was a god. I might ask. But I think they'd have to fight the other gods that bled this place nearly to death. I'm, like, proud of us all for having good-ass lives in a shitty, stupid, god-ass town. <laughs> Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. <laughs> that was the theme of the last uh, little supplemental game. Survival. But really... You can't really, like... Force things. You gotta go out there, you gotta do things. Sure, it'd be nice to push someone in a hole claim to be for the greater good and all that, but hey, for the greater good, you can try and stab a baby, but then he'll just become the dark lord of all evilness. For the greater good's bullshit. If you actually want to be for the greater good, you gotta step out there and be, well, be people. You gotta put two musicians together saying, hey, you're in a place that normally people don't really play songs. There's another guy out there who's in a place where people don't really play songs. Maybe you could play songs in a place where people normally play songs. And that's what happened. Sometimes it's... It's like they were shoving people into a hole and expecting the hand of God to reach down to help them. But you can't do that. To get people to help other people... I know, like, for things to get better. For someone to help someone else kind of got to be the hand of God yourself in a non-religious way. Reach down, try and change people's lives for the better. It's just kind of kind of a thing you got to do. Taco Snack Falcon. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. It just seems like Relevant. Well, look who's li <laughs> who's live and well. You too. Yeah, yeah. You want to get out of here? Do band practice? Yeah. Eh? Jeez, that door never gets any less stuck. Holy crap, is that a pentagram sticker? Yeah, it's a corpse driver sticker. Wonder what four pentagrams mean. What? Nothing. Nobody here yet. Bunch of slackers. It's like they don't even want this band to succeed. <laughs> what would we even play if we wanted to? Hmm. I have no idea. Go play those F VFW Hall shows in Fort Lucin. Oh wow, those are fun. We'd get we'd be the oldsters now. Yep. So, uh, you okay? I guess. I mean, as much as I can even tell today. Yeah. Hmm, suspicious. Do you think those guys can get out of the mine? I guess we're gonna find out pretty quick. Did you notice anyone missing today? I don't know. But I don't think a lot of those guys were people I knew. Never can tell. Never can tell? This kind of thing happen to you often? Oh, all the time. So I... I don't really get what happened down there. With you. And the... Whatever that was. The cosmic horror? Oh yeah, that. Um, it's old. Something older than anything I can think of. And you can feel it inside. And it's in a hole outside town? Yeah. No. Like, the thing is in the hole is... Jeez, I lost it. It's okay. It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out, and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back, like I was telling you about the couch last night. God, that was last night? Seems like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. What a weird fall it's been. Yeah, I mean, even aside from last night, 
weirdest couple of weeks of my life. Like, so I was asking about the pentagram sticker. Yeah, so there were these weird teens who told me I was a... Never mind, it's really stupid saying it out loud. Okay. I don't know, sometimes weird coincidences. It's like having the TV on in the room so you don't feel alone or something. One of the best things about living with Angus. He's always there. Angus is your TV and my space heater. So those teens told me I'd see a bunch of pentagrams. You're like, you like this. One was a donut on the other su- night. They got, the, they got the devil in them. And another one was down in the tunnel last night. I mean, you know what Angus would say. <laughs> yeah, pattern seeking. You know what he used to make? You know he used to make videos online. Really? Yeah, he liked to tell about oh to atheism and also cook, reason and cookies. Holy crap! I think he I mellowed him out. Does he still make cookies? Yeah, and he still yells about atheism too, but IRL. Huh. Well, he also gave us the rat infestation in town. What? Eh, it's like the one good thing that's happened. Hope springs, rats multiply. Very po- uh, very poetic, dude. I'm extremely poetical. They killed Casey. Yeah, they did. They killed Casey. I'm trying not to think about it. Do we, like, tell his parents? What do we tell them? I don't know. Is it worse to let them think he's alive, or tell them he's in a bottomless hole in a tunnel in the woods with a bunch of guys who are going to be dead soon? We should tell him. I'm okay. We get to figure out what to say. I'll let you know if I ever come up with anything. Sounds good. I think it's important that we know at least. Makes it mean something. I know how to say it. I think we might be the only things in the universe who care about anything. Or who even can care. Do you think any of this means anything? Or, like, meant anything? Hmm. Does it, Gregory? Hey, babies. Hey, Han. Babies? How is work? Jeez, I'm sore from, like, everything. I ran into, like, a zillion bushes the other night. Basically, my body hates me right now. Gotta do stretches. So, like, can I move to Bright Harbor with you guys? Uh, um, I thought you, like, couldn't leave home. Eh, you guys are home enough. Or maybe I'll just visit for a while once you get settled in. Of course. Yeah, dude, that'd be rad. Hey, guys. Yeah? Thanks for saving me last night. Like, repeatedly. Not even a problem, dude. We'll save you as many times as it takes. Hey, Bia. Hey, Bia. Uh, Are you gonna say something? I don't really know what to say. What in the hell even happened last night? (laughs) Uh, Don't ask me. Can't we, like, just play a song and get pizza and think about this tomorrow? I had a dream that the world was ending. Song and pizza. All right. Sweet. It does, dude. What? Answering your question like two minutes ago. What question? What were we even talking about? That was so good. Where to even begin? Well, I love this game. It is going to be one of my favorite games of all time. More than likely. Because there's nothing in it that I hate. There's literally nothing. Like, at most, I would say that I both do and don't wish that there was more for the story. But at the same time, the story is just enough. And there's replayability, because you can go back and hang out with people and get to know them more. It's just like... And they also keep it kind of vague. They don't tell you if it's actually, like, paranormal or not. And then there's all these side things you can do, like the pentagram searches, the... really need to finish that, because I want, I, want I want to do as much of a run as I can on this game. Just every, everything. Spend hours on every single day just looking around, talking to everyone. 
Because you're so, so good. Our patient and supportive Kickstarter backers. Yeah, because didn't they, like, finish this Kickstarter in 2013? <laughs> Took them about four years to make this game. And honestly, it was worth it. I wasn't there from the beginning. Didn't even hear about this game until after it was released. But man. They're just little things about everything. The little characters. The one thing that I do wish, my only umbrage of this game, is if they would have let you be able to go and tell people, like, oh, I'll be right back. I just got to want to walk around. And I go the cat. Just wish that he was better at conveying. <clears throat> oh. What's this? Ah. But just wish that, uh. For the side characters, uh, Lori, Lorium, Mom, and Germ, that it wasn't just. Oh, you have to hang out with them or not, because I, in my mind, I thought it was like hanging out with the main characters. Which, I guess is and kind of isn't the game's fault. But at the same time, kind of is, because they do give you an option to say no. Normally, when you have an option to say no... <laughs> shut up, Sharky! Because, like, normally when it says, it gives you an option to say no, it's usually for something that's going to end the game. Three weird teens I met. Let's go all the way back. Rip Granddad. Your parents forgot you. Mom, Dad. Big Skeleton. What? Aunt Mall Cop is planning to kill me. You. Well, maybe. We didn't see Aunt Mall Cop after that. <laughs> and she was being all mystical and stuff. Greg rules okay. Bia, Beatrice, Bontanello, die everywhere else. Weird Autumn. Oh, did I not get the other thing because I did so bad? Arm. Well, we found out what the arm was about. Don't know why he had the tattoo. Mm -hmm. Army jacket. Mm. <laughs> the pizza. Door. Castiz. Hello, Bia. Did you give my text? Angus. Germ? Thought, become a fire ghost and yell at people. Thought, gee, dad, come back to life, <laughs> granddad. If the cat. Thought, never drink again. Thought, never th drink again in public. Everything feels bad. Ta-da. It's Selmer's mysterious tooth. <laughs> Mallet forever. Nuke Possum Springs. Pastor K, fire breather. Crimes. <laughs> Fucking Scriggins. Working. Legends. Janitor, Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor, Halloween Harfest. Skull Hall, Little Joe's Bang Skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? So I am. Coal or skin? Hmm. Lorium. Thought, Angus is psychic. No clues, but Angus saw him too. And that's it. That's just it. It's over. I wonder what the continue button does. What happened? Oh, it's just gonna be the ending again. Well, I guess you can't blame him. Hmm. Well, guess if that's it. Go back to the main title screen. And final thoughts. Jeez. I finished this in like three sessions? Because I love this game so much. It took me about, let's see, three, four, three. About ten hours to beat this game. 
Then again, that was of me running around a lot, not knowing what I was doing, and on top of me not doing everything that you could do because I'm a dummy. So, I love this game. I love this game. Like, the gameplay itself is so-so. Like, it wouldn't work for every game, as opposed to other games like... Uh, like, say, like, Doom or Mario, those games are, like, fun to the bone because they're just gameplay fun, but they don't have much to them after that. Well, I guess Doom has the blood and gore! So I guess that does add to it. But this game has wonderful characters, a wonderful story. It's like... It's a weird story. They don't explain everything to you, but... If they did, it wouldn't be as good. It's kind of like the opposite of Undertale in a way. Undertale just explains everything. Then again, maybe there's a true ending to this game. Very well might be. I don't know. But I just want, I just have to wonder... What everything was about. Like, what was truly going on. How much is legend? How much is not? What happened to Granddad when he said this house is haunted? And more. Like, and like you, you kind of empathize with the characters just because they're so likable. And then there's all the weird things that are going on. The kidnapped person, like, that's... It's, it's, like, they killed, like, three people. But my question is, why did they get around to, like, throwing that dude into the hole and cutting off his leg? My question is, why? Why? They already they got rid of Casey a few months prior. So a few months later, they had the dude with the arm. Why he had an arm, we don't know. I just assume that they were taking a person to throw him in. And then we also have the everything's like Honestly, I'm a torn because like with Undertale, Undertale is definitely a game that doesn't need a sequel. It's a, it's one that I'm like, I'm not sure if a sequel could be done right, but uh, and I don't really care for a sequel. This one, on the other hand, is I feel like a sequel would be wonderful, but at the same time, the main thing kind of went by. The main thing was May was kind of broken in her mind. Things were just shapes and all that. It was just her living her life as much as possible. And then all the mystical stuff happened. Well, supposedly mystical. We don't know. But, so yeah, the story is definitely one that needs to be broken down, but at the same time, I'll, I'll be thinking about that. The gameplay, again, it's not one that would work for any game. It works for this one because the focus is on the characters. The focus is on the uh, story, and the gameplay revolves around the characters and the story, rather than the characters and the story revolving around the gameplay. Or even hand in hand. It's kind of like how there are so many little mini-games that are, like, uh, at the same time, the mini-games aren't really dictated by the story all that much, like stealing the pretzels for the rats, or... Uh, I'm trying to think. What else? What other mini-games were there? that weren't dictated by the game. That's actually... And, well, I guess you could count the getting the little twirly bird um, things activated could technically count as a minigame. But then we also have uh, the minigames that were a part of the story, or at least a part of the way you went. Like um, throwing uh, pierogies into Greg's mouth, connecting the dot stars with uh, uh, Angus and then trying to fix a furnace for beer. But truly, this is a game... I'm going to be replaying this and not on screen because I want it in my own time, and my throat is not agreeing with me with all these hour-long sessions of talking, which is weird because I went for like seven hours with stinking Final Fantasy XV. Not sure on what never did with this, maybe because I, I felt, again, my throat started messing up, and then, well, I guess I kind of count yesterday because I felt so bad messing up the mom quest. <laughs> I feel bad. But that's why replaying is there. And looking at it again with the knowledge that I have now is going to be really interesting. 
So, in my opinion, a great game. Wonderful game. Not gonna be for everyone, but it's for me. At the end of the day, that's something. I've been Neon Icy Wings, and I'll see you next time.